Today on The Daily Connoisseur, I'm sharing my typical 5 a.m. morning routine. Welcome back, friends. Thank you for joining me today. I'm a creature of habit and like to follow set routines throughout the day. In my second book, At Home with Madame Chic, I talk about taking pleasure from the routines of the day, and I certainly do this with my morning routine. I typically wake up around 5 a.m. I don't set an alarm clock. My body naturally wakes up around this time after over a decade of doing so. Sometimes I wake up earlier, like 4.30, and sometimes I'll wake up later, at the latest 6 a.m., but on average, it's around five. And that's what I aim for on weekdays. First thing after waking up, I say a mental prayer of thanks, and then I brush my teeth. It's usually pitch black at this time, and I don't normally turn the full bathroom lights on, but I did so here so you could see me. After I brush my teeth, I wash my face with warm water. By the way, that's the extent of my morning skincare routine. I don't use any product, no cleanser or anything else in the morning, so as not to strip my skin of natural oils. Later on, I'll put a moisturizer on, but we're not there yet. Then I drink a lot of water. I keep one of my VitaJoule bottles upstairs and make sure it's always filled the night before. I mentally drink to good health, and I try to feel feelings of gratitude while I sip. Then I check my day calendar, which is the Mary Englebright one. Next is something I do every morning and it feels really weird filming it. <laughs> Just to be honest, I don't really like filming this, but I need to since it's a non-negotiable for me. And that is prayer and meditation. I start off in prayer and I end in meditation. I'll do this for anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes each morning. I once heard Terry Savelle Foy say that prayer is talking to God and meditation is listening to God. That's exactly how I would describe it. I spend more time in meditation than prayer. So if I'm doing this for 20 minutes, for example, I'll spend the first five usually in prayer and then 15 minutes in meditation. This is obviously a super personal thing, but it is a major part of my morning routine. So I really did feel like I needed to share that here. After that, I usually read one chapter in the Bible, and if I have a morning devotional book or another motivating book, I'll read that now too. I keep this bookmark in my Bible that my youngest son made me. It makes me smile every morning when I open it. Then this portion of my routine ends on journaling. I journal throughout the day for various reasons, but this is my morning journal. My friend, Dr. Chloe gave me this one. I love it. In this morning journal, I will write about everything from significant events that I want to record to dream journaling, like what my dreams were about the night before, gratitude lists, insights from my meditations, etc. This is another non-negotiable part of my morning routine and I do it every day. I want to also say that this is not my commonplace book. That's a separate book that I usually write in later in the day. We're at about 6 a.m. at this point and if it's a day when I'm publishing a video for YouTube, I'll usually do it around this time before I exercise. But today, there's no video. Then I make a pot of coffee so it's brewing while I exercise and will be ready when I'm finished. I love smelling the coffee in the morning. 
I buy the whole bean organic French roast from Costco usually and I grind it the night before so I don't wake up the family. The smell is sensational. So I will let that brew while I get changed into my exercise clothes. I don't always change into exercise clothes. Sometimes I'll exercise in my pajamas, but today I did change. I tend to do different things each day, but my favorite routines always involve stretching first, which I'm doing here. If I'm freestyling my exercise and not following a video like I'm doing today, I'm always listening to an audiobook or some kind of motivational talk on YouTube. I like to breathe deeply and really enjoy the stretch. I usually do a combination of yoga stretching, exercises like lunges, and Pilates moves. Just whatever I feel my body needs. I haven't started to lift weights yet, so to compensate, I do push-ups. Then I'll jump on my rebounder anywhere from five to 10 minutes. I'll leave resources down below for YouTube channels that I like, apps I like, and my rebounder if you wanna check that out. Also, it's important to note that I often do these exercises outside, but today I'm doing them inside. After exercising, I need another tall glass of water, so I drink that. And now, I feel like I say this about many parts of my morning routine, but I think this could be my favorite part, coffee. I usually pour the heavy cream first, and then I dust that with organic cinnamon, and then pour the coffee, but today I switched up the order. My friend Hillary from Old World Home told me about the cinnamon tip and I love it. I know some of you mentioned putting the cinnamon directly in the coffee basket, but that flavor isn't strong enough for me and I don't mind the cinnamon granules. Then I always take my coffee outside to enjoy the first sips out in the fresh air. Today the dragonflies were out early and they were flying around me to greet me with pomp and circumstance. Ever since learning that dragonflies diet primarily consists of mosquitoes, I love them even more. <laughs> this time is usually characterized by tremendous feelings of gratitude, just running over all the things in my mind that I'm grateful for. My family, my friends, my health, my home, my work, all of you. Seriously, these things overwhelm me at this point and I really feel it. You're probably wondering where my kids are while I'm doing this. They're all usually still sleeping. Keep in mind by now, it's probably around 6.45 a.m. My youngest ones will wake up any time between now and 8 a.m. If they are not up, I'll usually go on my phone and computer at this time and check the news, check my emails, see what's happening on YouTube, etc. I do this while enjoying my coffee. This is not the time I write my book or any scripts or anything. I do that later in the day now. When the kids were little and didn't sleep as late and their needs were more demanding, I would try to fit that writing time in first thing, but now I've adjusted my routine and I do that later. So this is really reserved for technical and administrative work. Then I'll usually open up my planner and see what I need to get done today. That is usually filled out the day before. Writing a to-do list is so important because every day I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I needed to do that. <laughs> If I relied on my head to recall everything, important things would frequently go missing. The boys have woken up at this point and I help them get ready for the day. They dress themselves with a little assistance, but I still get their breakfast for them. 
My daughters usually wake up a little later than the boys, and they are fully independent with their own morning routines, including breakfast, so it's really just the little ones that I need to help. The table is always set the night before in a very simple way, and their water is out because they're always thirsty. I usually pour their water the night before and cover it with a cloth napkin, and they always have that right away. I don't have footage of my children because I'd rather not show my family, but you get the idea. I get their breakfast and this is what they're having today. Then it's time for me to get dressed. This is usually around 8 a.m. I already washed my face, so here I'm just applying sunscreen and very minimal makeup, and then I'll do my hair. I'm usually listening to an audiobook while I do this, or I'll call my parents or sister and have a quick chat. This is my outfit of the day today. It's entirely by Sky, the Agatha short sleeve sweater and the A-line skirt. I'm wearing it with slippers as of right now since I'm not leaving the house for a while. Now it's time to make the bed. I love doing this because it produces such a beautiful effect. It's around 9 a.m. by this time, and that's when I usually eat my breakfast. Many of you have asked if we still homeschool. The answer is yes. Two years ago, we hired a private tutor to help us, and we still use her and added another tutor on board this year. We love it. School starts for them at 9 a.m., so once I greet our tutor and get the kids settled, I'll make my breakfast. We also go to a campus each week, and this morning is not reflecting that. That's a whole other morning routine, and I can show that one day if you like. But for my breakfast today, as you can see, I took some whole fat Greek yogurt and topped it with blueberries and then a Tzola superfood mix in pumpkin spice. This is a grain-free granola that I love. I'll leave it down below. I like to have my meals in a very peaceful environment where I can be fully present and joyful I'm also reading Emily Dickinson's letters this morning while I have breakfast. And that is my morning routine, friends. If you want to know more about how you can incorporate the pleasures of the day into your routines, I recommend reading my Madame Chic series, especially At Home with Madame Chic, which covers this topic extensively. If you're interested in teaching your children healthy habits and the importance of routines, I recommend you read them my book, Connoisseur Kids. I'll leave my books down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you drew inspiration from seeing my morning routine. I would love to know what your routine is. Please let us know in the comments down below. In the meantime, keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in the next video. Love, Jennifer.